Alrighty folks, in today's video we'll go ahead and take a look and do a mini review of the Waze doorbell. I'm excited to be among the first people to actually receive this unit because I pre-ordered it in September 2020 when it was announced and uh, now we're at February 2021 and I just finally received this unit. Uh, this is my third product from Waze and uh, I'm actually very impressed uh, with their product line and the things that they're able to offer at the price point that they're able to offer. Let's go ahead and take a look at this unit. In the box we have the doorbell, we have the wall plate, and we also have a wedge in case we want to put it at an angle. We get the chime, and also the mounting hardware and the wires, and the quick start guide. And also a wonderful sticker that you backed the Waze project. The wrap has a very good step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up and get that installed. The first step, of course, uh, is to make sure that you turn off the power before you proceed to do any work. The installation is fairly simple and straightforward. Only downside that I've discovered is that in order to make this work, we have to disconnect our existing wired in chime in order uh, to provide uh, the waste chime the ability to work with their waste doorbell. My preference would have been to still have the ability to have the existing chime work so that in case there are any Wi-Fi issues that we would have the ability to use existing chime with the doorbell. Unfortunately, that is not an option as that is being disconnected. Removing my old doorbell was fairly straightforward. There are two screws that were holding it and then the two uh, wires leading to it. So that was fairly simple. In my case, I did not need to use the wedge to angle the Waze doorbell simply because mine is flat with the wall and it should provide enough coverage as it is. The issue here, however, is that if we don't use the wedge and we're just using the wall plate itself, there's not enough clearance uh, between the wall and then the wall plate to use the wire nuts that we're instructed to use with their extension cables because the wire nuts are, the, you know, their dimension is larger. Um, so in my case, I decided not to use their extension cables or the wire nuts and I wired it, uh, the existing doorbell wires right into the Waze doorbell uh, directly without any of those extension cables. And that seems to do the trick. I have also used electrical tape to cover up uh, the back of the connection so that no moisture or snow gets in the back of the doorbell. Once connected and the power back on, then we can go ahead and scan the QR code in order uh, to hook up the doorbell with the Wise app. Ready to connect. The next step is to plug in the door chime and then link it with the doorbell as an extended device so that it does actually ring when someone presses the button. And while we're at it, I also added it to my Alexa app as a smart home device. Someone is at the doorbell. Someone is at the doorbell. So while it is linked with Alexa, it does not show the video, however, it only makes the announcement that someone is at that doorbell. Uh, I would have been uh, expecting the video feed from that. That would make sense. However, at the moment, that is not an option. I do not know if that is something that will be added in the future. That is definitely something uh, worthwhile feature to have if you link it with a video display device uh, like uh, the Echo 8 that I have so that we can go ahead and actually see who is at the doorbell, not just the announcement. I did send uh, Wise an email asking about it. I have not uh, gotten a reply back yet, but as soon as they'll reply to me, um, I'll update the description of this video. One bug I did come across is that if we're asking the Amazon device to show us the video from the doorbell, it will actually not show it vertically. It flips it horizontally for some reason, probably tries to adjust it for the display. However, obviously we need to be able to see the doorbell uh, vertically corrected as it is. So I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully that is another bug that may be fixed by Wise. Show doorbell camera. Okay. We get good quality video both daytime and nighttime from the doorbell camera, so no complaints there. I think we have good resolution and also we have good uh, angle coverage in terms of 
the uh, even though we get a little bit of a fisheye effect there, of course, it is still uh, covering a very wide uh, angle. So no complaints there, both daytime and nighttime. We're also getting 20 frames per second, which is very good. Uh, one thing uh, that I did notice is that the app does allow us to talk to and listen to whomever is at the doorbell. No issues with the speaker. The people who are out there can hear me just fine. The microphone, however, um, I am barely able to hear them. I don't think the microphone is picking up uh, enough sound or they have to be really close and speaking very loud. So with that said, um, I do not know if that's going to be a firmware update issue that may fix it or if that's a hardware issue uh, on that camera. This is something that maybe Waze can let me know. I did email them about it. I want to send them an email about a couple of other items. So this is going to be interesting to see how that will end up. Overall, however, I'm still happy with the results that we get at the price point that we get from Waze so that we can still get notifications. We still have video recording and we also have the quality that we get at a price point that is reasonable from them. Just for reference, here is the firmware that I'm currently on while doing this review. One cool thing that we are able to do using the WISE app is to set the WISE chime to play different type of uh, sounds based on the categories that they choose. So far we don't have anything custom that we can create. However, we do have a good choice of items that we can choose for the chime sound. All right, well, I think I covered most of the items that I wanted to talk about in this review. Hopefully you have found it helpful and beneficial. I will update the description of the video if I get any additional information from Waze about uh, the couple of issues that I mentioned throughout the video. And I'll also provide links to this doorbell at the moment. I think it's all back ordered, but at some point, hopefully they'll restock and uh, you guys will be able to order that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful and beneficial. Have a great day. Bye-bye.